Welcome back. We've uh, introduced polar coordinates. We learned how to plot polar coordinates, and we saw how they uh, how they kind of relate to rectangular coordinates. But it's often uh, of interest to convert back and forth between polar and rectangular coordinates. And so that's what this video will examine here. So if you look at this point right here, notice I've labeled it in two ways. One is x comma y, and that would be the rectangular would be sort of the rectangular form of this or Cartesian way to label that point again walking right x units and turning left walking up y units and then establishing a distance you walk out and an angle you rotate that's polar <clears throat> So is there a relationship between the two? Absolutely, and you shouldn't be surprised that, I mean, this diagram, if there was any, in this course, one diagram that really kind of captured the entire course, it would probably be this right triangle diagram here, where we often use our trig knowledge to convert back and forth between different representations. And so, if you look at the diagram here, you'll notice that the cosine of theta is equal to x over r and multiplying through by r tells me that x is equal to r cosine theta so this is useful if you want to find uh, if you're converting from rectangular I'm sorry polar to rectangular if you know r and you know theta, you just get the x-coordinate by doing r times cosine of theta. So x is equal to r cosine theta. And likewise, in the picture, the sine of theta is opposite over hypotenuse, which is y over r. And multiplying both sides by r, we get that y equals r sine theta. So there's a, so converting from polar to rectangular is really easy because your x coordinate is just r cosine theta and the y coordinate is r sine theta. Great. Uh, we've also seen that if we're interested in the angle and we know the x and the y coordinate, that theta is equal to tan inverse. of y over x. Now you gotta be a little careful there, right? Depending on which quadrant you're in, because tan inverse is only uh, is only defined in um, since tan inverse is always only defined in quadrant one and four, you gotta kind of make sure you're looking at the picture to make sure that your ang the angle you're looking for uh, is the one you found. So you, that may involve adding and subtracting 180 uh, you, I think you guys all know what I mean by that. Uh, the other identity you can get from this picture is just using the Pythagorean theorem. If you look at the, the diagram, the Pythagorean theorem tells us that x squared plus y squared equals r squared. And so, if you put those all here in the box, what we have are some nice useful uh, identities that are going to help us convert back and forth from, uh, from polar to rectangular form. So I'll do that in the next video.